Hello, you be beautiful people. I'm Michael Botts, and you show up here every morning at 9 a.m. I mean every morning at 9 a.m. The same reason I show up here every morning at 9 a.m. Because we know there is more to life. We know there's something else that we need to be giving the world. There's something inside of us, and we want to offer it to the world, and we're trying to to figure out how. Good morning, Michelle. I'm glad you're here this morning. Thank you for being first. Jerry Botts right after Michelle. Dre is here this morning. All right, you guys are rolling in. I love it. I love it. Look, you were born genius. You were born for a specific reason at a specific time. There'll never be another you in the future. There never was a you in the past. So you're here for a reason. And the whole purpose of this show is to figure that reason out and then get you closer to executing whatever that reason is. You were born genius. You were born brilliant. You were born to change the world. And then you get caught in the riptide life and you get sucked under into the ocean of am I enough? And out there in the ocean of am I enough, you know there's something you need to be doing, but you can't. Can't get it out of you. You keep running into walls. You get slammed up against the rocks. You get sucked under. And you start to live your life out of doubt, fear, and limiting beliefs. And my whole goal in life is to swim out in the ocean of am I enough, drag you up onto the beach of I am enough, and start to resuscitate you. I spew out, you spew out doubt, and you spew out fear, and you spew out limiting beliefs, and you start to walk down the path of life, walk down the path of success in a way that you haven't walked down the path of success in a long, long time. Now, the path of success is paved, the footings, the gravel underneath is all gratitude. Anyone that's successful, anyone that's killing it, anyone that's dominating life, they have an attitude of gratitude. So we start the show with gratitude. Right now, you're going to start typing in your gratitudes. This is the way it sounds. I am grateful most of the time. I live with two teenage boys. I am grateful for a sense of smell. And I am enough. <laughs> Sometimes if I didn't smell, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> Drea says, I am grateful for a new day. Michelle says, I am grateful for these lives. I am determined to live my life with a positive attitude and I am enough. Yes. Beautiful. I love it. You guys, thank you for participating. Thank you for giving me that. I feel respected and honored that you take the time. And if you say it out your mouth, it goes in your inner ear and your soul and the universe collaborate to start making that stuff happen. Okay? Now, we're going to do some breaths. Tim says, I am grateful for rain in April instead of snow, and I am enough. Yes, Tim. I like it. Good morning, Chris. Glad to see you. We're going to take some breaths now because the breath creates space, and in the space is where the solution is. That's where your next, what you're supposed to say to your client, the next thing you're supposed to do, the next part of your invention, the next thing you need to do to get your app out there, the next thing, the next client, the big client you need to talk to. All of that, all of those solutions happen in that space. Mindy says, I'm grateful for Michael Botts. I haven't been more vote motivated in a very long time and I'm enough. Mindy, you're making my day. <laughs> Thank you, Mindy. I love that. That's my favorite grateful so far. <laughs> all right, let's take this first breath. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Michelle says, suck up. <laughs> You keep sucking up, Mindy. I, you're my favorite. You're my, you're my class favorite right now. You keep sucking up. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh this morning. <laughs> All right, take a deep breath. Breathe in. Just exhale. All right, we're gonna take one more. Do you feel the space? 
you guys feel the space? You should start feeling space. On a cellular level, the space between your cells, it doesn't change, but you become aware of it. In your brain, the space between your synapses and the, and the solutions are starting to become aware of it. In your lungs, you feel the capacity of your lungs, but then you go past that and you feel the infinity of you. One more breath. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale. All right, all right, all right. Guess what today's subject is? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. You know, we've, we've heard that and it's been a joke and sometimes we say it about the neighbors when they're getting in our business. But we need to say it to ourselves. Mind your own business, Michael Botts. Hey, Michael, mind your own business. I need to look in the mirror and I need to say that to myself every day. Now, what does that mean? What are my top three, only three, no more. What are my top three things I need to do every day to move forward in my business? And that's minding my own business. Yeah, but Michael, I got to do accounting and I got to do bookkeeping and I got to do the inventory. Okay, do all that after you get your three done every day. What are your three things you need to be doing every day to grow your business? In my opinion, in my humble over 20 years of experience opinion, you need to be keeping customers, getting new customers, and being creative as far as sales and creating more revenue, revenue generating activities. Yeah, but Michael, I'm all by myself and I got to do the accounting and I got to do the inventory and I got to make the orders and there's paperwork and taxes. Michael, right here, what about taxes? I agree with all that, but it should not take the place of those top three things. Every day you should ask yourself this question, M -M is what I'm doing creating a new customer keeping a current customer. And if you can't say that it's doing those two things, you need to do it quickly and then get back to those two things or just stop doing it. You know, mind your own business. A lot of times we're on social media and we're getting the highlight reel of everyone else and then we don't do, we get discouraged or we get frustrated and we're like, ah, oh, Chris is doing so good and he's doing $100,000 a month. Oh, I'm so frustrated because Chris is killing it. Or I can mind my own business and get to my business and get my business to $100,000 a month. We need to mind your own business. And a lot of times we're given advice. Yeah, but Michael, that's your whole thing. Every morning you're giving advice. This is my business, guys. <laughs> All day. I sit around, I do what I'm doing, but I'm thinking about you every day and I'm thinking about how can I serve you better? How can I serve you? How can I give you something that's going to catapult you with a quantum leap in your, in the, on the road of success? So when you're serving others, make sure you're serving them and it's going to create revenue. Make sure your, your, your attitude of servanthood isn't charity. Mind your own business. And when it comes to taxes, if you'll do it daily or monthly, you won't be panicking in April. When it comes to your paperwork, if you spend an hour on it every day, it won't, at the end of the month, you're not spending a whole day on it. These are the things Chris says, serve, solve, and save. Yes, yes, you need to be serving, solving, and saving for your clients because Without clients, ladies and gentlemen, there is no business. So let's mind our own business. And then we are entrepreneurs and we want to do the next best thing and we want to be so creative. So we want to get involved in the law firm and we want to start another um, multi-level because it'll add to our things. Be careful about spreading yourself too thin that you don't focus on getting new customers, and keeping customers. Because we, we all want to do the next shiny thing. When it comes to marketing, I, I, am, I have to really check myself because I want to do the next new marketing thing. And I want to try this. And I want to do that. I want to hire somebody to do that. 
And if everybody that I know that's really successful, everybody I know that's just, that's dominating the arena has decided on their two marketing and they just stick with it. They may adjust, but they stay the course. So find out someone that's successful, someone that's, that's killing it in your arena, whatever you're selling. Okay, so let's admit it. If you own a business, you're selling something. And then find out two things they're doing that you can do and do those two things religiously. Just like we talked about habit, brushing your teeth, paying taxes. You do those things to avoid some pain and gain some pleasure. What are your three things you're going to do every day, including Saturday, including Sunday, to mind your own business and grow your own business? It really doesn't matter what others say. It doesn't matter how successful they are. It doesn't matter how failure they are. What matters is what I say about me, how successful I am, and how much failure I'm achieving. And the way that happens by me minding my own business. You know, if you're in the office, if you're the, the owner and you're in the office and there's starting to be gossip and this and that, <laughs> that has nothing to do with keeping customers or getting customers. That's the bottom line. You need to ask yourself, that's the foundation for this talk. Mind your own business and the only two things that should be on your mind is getting customers and keeping customers. But I got to do operations and I got to get gas in the car and I got to get the vans washed and I got to, I got to hire people. You do have to do all that, but it doesn't take place without customers. You don't need to do any of that. So every single day, mind your own business by getting customers and keeping customers. What are your three things you're going to do every day? Make a rule. You can't eat until those three, th three things are done. You can't go home and play with your kids until those three things are done. That's the life rule. And then you will not miss a day. It will become religion to you and your business will explode. Explode. Hey, I love you. I care about you. I want you to succeed. My whole mission in life is for you to succeed. When you succeed, oh, that. That is my life. That is my blood. Couple things. Show up here every morning at 9 a.m. Why not you? Why not now? If you're the boss, you should show up here every morning at 9 a.m. If you're not the boss, tell your boss the whole company needs to come here at 9 a.m. because this will change our company. Secondly, share this. Five, four, three, two, one, share. Share it right now. And thirdly, if you want some help in this arena of minding your own business, if you want some help to grow your business, I'm Michael Botts. I help business owners grow their revenue, make more money. And that's what I want to do for you. I love you. I care about you. I am so passionate about you succeeding. It is my mission in life to get you to succeed. Have an awesome day. Notice today, as you're going, take a few breaths and get the space and notice, am I minding my own business? Am I minding my own business? And look in the mirror and go, mind your own business, Michael. Mind your own business. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. And so the follow-up to that one conversation, that one, that one, that one conversation, um, we had exchanged a couple of texts because I was trying to hone my mission statement so that I had something to say at this networking event, which then led me to CBS this morning, which then, you know, hopefully um, pans out to a, a, a morning spot on a national news network.